Hello viewers, welcome back to Excel Academy's YouTube channel. So this is Saturday evening and uh, we are back with the Current Affairs Weekly Roundup. This is the 26th session that we are conducting on Current Affairs. This should help all those students who are preparing for the CSEET exams. Not only that, if you are preparing for any of the competitive examinations, Current Affairs is something which is very important and having a tab on this helps you in a big way to do well in the examination. Come, let's see some of the important news that was published in the newspapers in the last week. Fuel demand picks up petrol at pre-COVID level. So this is uh, somewhat good. See, there are very there, there are different dimensions in which we had to see this news. So if the fuel demand has increased, it means that consumption is increasing. This also means that the mobility of people has increased. It means that they are engaging themselves in various economic activities, which is good for the economy. That's one way of looking at it. We all know that the tax is levied on the fuel, both by the state governments as well as the central government. So this is one of the important sources of revenue to the government. And if the petrol consumption has increased, it means that the tax collection will also increase. So it is again good for the economy. So this is a positive news that is coming in. Let's hope that in the days to come, the tax on the uh, fuel would be reduced both by the respective central governments and the central government and the state governments. So that should help us uh, to make sure that our expenditure on fuel gets reduced. Right. Unacademy raises 440 million in fresh funding. Now the company is valued at 3.44 billion dollars. Now Unacademy is an edge tech company which is just like Baiju's. It has become a household name. So they offer various courses and they have different people teaching from different parts of the country. So they have got another round of funding and in that funding they have received $440 million, which is huge. And the value of the company stands at $3.4 billion. See, any company whose valuation is $1 billion and above, such companies are called unicorns. And in India, we have around 56 unicorn companies which are operating. So this is a great sign. So this also shows that education sector is moving towards technology. Right, let's proceed ahead. Policy Bazaar eyes 6K crore from IPO. This is again very uh, interesting news that comes in. So Policy Bazaar is an aggregator where we can find the uh, information related to various uh, policies, insurance policies that are available. So Policy Bazaar has uh, both life insurance as well as the general insurance information which is available. People can log in and check, compare the insurance policies, premiums, coverage, all such details and then go for the insurance. So they are coming out with an IPO which is initial public offer and uh, they uh, aim to uh, collect around 6000 crore rupees from the capital markets. So this is another big IPO that is coming in. We just saw Zomato doing extremely well. Now Paytm is expected to uh, list itself in the uh, stock markets. We are expecting LIC to be listed. And uh, now we get the news that even Policy Bazaar is planning to get itself listed in the stock markets. IMF OK's big increase in funds to elevate pandemic impact. This is very important. IMF stands for International Monetary Fund. 190 plus countries are the member nations of IMF and all these countries would contribute towards the IMF fund. So now uh, IMF has decided to come out or release funds to uh, different countries which are hit by pandemic. The ex uh, expected amount is around $650 billion. In that around $227 to $250 dollars would, a billion dollars would go towards the poorer countries to help them fight the impact of the pandemic. So important news which we have to follow. Bill Gates, Melinda Gates officially divorced after 27 years of marriage. Now we all know that Bill Gates is one of the richest uh, men in the world. He ranks 1 in 10 most of the time. And uh, his wife Melinda Gates uh, was very active in uh, philanthropy work they had something called the Melinda Gates Foundation. And they have also pledged a lot of their wealth uh, towards so social service and other things. Uh, last May, the news broke out telling that they have decided to separate. And there are also conspiracy theories which tell that this is just to make sure that they avoid taxes. So what is true, what is false, there is no idea. But it is official now that they are getting separated. 
Right. PepsiCo to sell Tropicana, other juice brands for $3.3 billion in North America. So this is another news. We know that Pepsi is one of the biggest carbonated drink manufacturing company in the world and they give tough competition to Coca-Cola. So Tropicana is a brand which belonged to PepsiCo and they, are, they have decided to sell it off for $3.3 billion. And the company CEO has told that they will focus more on health drinks and snacks which has bigger market and better brand value. So that's the news that comes from PepsiCo. Demand for MGNREGS, very important, we need to remember this. It stands for Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. So through this, the central government provides job to the ruralites, uh, which they can take up and uh, this guarantees 100 days of work to the workers. Now what has been told is there is a lot of demand uh, from this scheme, but the number of people participating has reduced. So this is something which we have to understand and we also know that uh, MGNREGA is one of the important schemes that is operating in the country. Ola's e-scooter ride begins on August the 15th. August 15th, we are celebrating our 75th uh, Independence Day and it's a great occasion. And uh, Ola, which launched its booking uh, almost uh, 15 days back uh, for 499 rupees, has told that they'll be launching their first e-scooter. So it will be available, it will start riding on the roads. So big news, big change in the market. We know that Ola and Tata's, Mahindra's, everybody are venturing into the electric vehicle segment. And Tata seems to be the front runner when it comes to manufacturing uh, electric vehicles uh, of four uh, wheel. So this is an important news. This might change the entire way in which the two wheeler automobile industry operates in the country. Edible oil prices to remain high till new crop arrives in November. Not a great news because we all consume a lot of edible oil. Any oil for that matter, be it crude, be it edible oil, when the prices go up, it is going to hit us very badly. Valued at 2.85 billion, Bharat Pay rises fresh 370 billion. So Bharat Pay is an other unicorn. So it is valued above uh, 1 billion dollars. Like I told you, we have 50 plus unicorns that are operating in the country. This is great. So all these are startups which have a very strong technology base and they are trying to solve many problems that people face and that's how they are becoming very popular and that's how they have become household brands in the country. And Bharat Pay is another company and they are valued at 2.5, 2.85 billion dollars. Birla steps down as Voda Idea Chairman. This is a very, very shocking news that comes. Uh, in the beginning of uh, this week, Kumar Mangalam Birla, who was also the chairman of V, because Idea and Vodafone merged and they formed the company V. He had offered his 27% stake uh, in the company to government. He, has, he had asked the government to bail out the company. Uh, they had also uh, asked Try to come out with floor pricing. Floor pricing is where there will be a minimum price. So all these things were happening in the last 7 to 10 days. And finally, Kumar Mangalam Birla has stepped down as the chairman of uh, the uh, V company and now if you look at the telecom industry of India it is a duopoly now there is a misconception duopoly doesn't mean that there can be there should be only two uh, companies there will be few companies but there will be two companies which will be major players so in Indian telecom industry today the two major players are one is Airtel and other is Jio so both of them are uh, competing with each other to be the uh, market leader in the telecom industry. So V has bowed out. That is what we understand. Anyway, BSNL is far from giving competition to Jio and Airtel. But we also understand there is a statement which comes from the Airtel Asia head, uh, Asia Pacific head. He says that there should be three private companies to uh, meet the demand in the market. But anyway, that's not the case now. Birla is moving out. And we also saw last week that the uh, stock prices of Airtel especially went up by almost 5%. So the investors are looking at it from completely a different way. Right, let's watch out this news and let's very closely follow the Indian telecom industry. Sensex Nifty scale fresh peaks, eyes on RBI policy, the major uh, sectors responsible for this new height reached by uh, market are IT, telecom and FMCG. So IT companies and telecom uh, companies, especially Airtel and FMCG have done well and market almost touched 55,000 mark and Nifty has gone beyond the 16,000 mark. Right. Bharat Biotech's Gujarat and Karnataka facilities begin co-vaccine production. Very, very important because we know that 
around 27 crore people have been given the first dose and now the entire country should be vaccinated as quickly as possible because we are expecting maybe the third wave is standing at our thresholds so we have to prepare ourselves. Pandemic continues to impact Uber's mobility business in India. Expected Uber uh, mobility is definitely uh, impacted because of the pandemic and its impact. Win for Amazon as SE stalls future reliance deal. So this is another news which we were following for almost one year now. So future group uh, which owns brands like Big Bazaar and Brand Factory uh, had a deal with Amazon and then they wanted to cancel it and go with uh, Reliance Industries. But now the Supreme Court of India has told that Amazon's deal was a fair deal and the future has to go with Amazon. Anyway, we will watch out uh, uh, for this update and keep you updated with all the changes that takes place. So this was the news that we wanted to present to you all this week. Uh, hope to meet you next week with more uh, updates. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button. If you are ready to subscribe to our channel, please do subscribe. If you know any of your friends who are preparing for any competitive examinations or CSEET in particular, please do share this video with them. Thank you so much.